abundanceflow.ca breath of fire how to do it properly these increases cause an immediate detoxification reaction in the body all toxins and deposits from drugs smoking and bad nutrition are released from the lungs mucus lining blood vessels and cells the outer circulation does increase as does the nervous energy so the breath should be mastered slowly and methodically Physiological studies have found that there is no relation between hyperventilation and breath of fire. Once you are practiced, it is possible to do the breath for 20 minutes or more. Most people are not used to breathing this way. It is the antithesis of the shallow, irregular breath characteristic of the emotional states that accompany negative thoughts. The rest of the body is relatively still. Even the upper chest is motionless and in a slightly uplifted position. At first, the navel and solar plexus may feel tired or uncoordinated. If you keep practicing, the breath will become rhythmic and very easy. The muscles that are used are the abdominals. Initially, you may tend to involve more muscle groups than are needed. As you do the breath of fire, check your body and relax tension and effort that may build up in the legs, face, shoulders, and chest. You should feel the pull of the muscles in that area. As you inhale, the abdomen relaxes, the diaphragm extends down, and the breath seems to come in as part of relaxation rather than effort. As you exhale, the air is pushed out by pulling the navel point and abdomen in towards the spine. In this motion, the chest area stays moderately relaxed. The focus of the energy is at the navel point. The breath is fairly rapid 2 to 3 breaths per second, continuous, and powerful with no pause between the inhale and exhale. How to do breath of fire properly. To deepen your cleansing process, increase the amount of exercise you do each day and simplify the diet to light vegetables, fruits and nuts for a few weeks.